Dear viewers, Namaskar. Welcome to this edition of the News Bulletin. In the headlines today, the first ultra filtration drinking water unit, Tripti, inaugurated at sale, Rorkela Steel Plant. Around 150 employees and contract workers take part in the human chain to create road safety awareness in sale RSP. Blood donation camp organized by Nurses Training Institute of IZH to mark the National Students Nurse Day and World Red Cross Day. Now the news in detail. The first ultra filtration drinking water unit of Sail Rorkela Steel Plant Trupti installed at Hot Strip Mill 2 was inaugurated by Mr. S. R. Suryavangsi ED Works on 8 May 2023. Present on the occasion were Mr. Devabrata Datta, CZM in charge services, Mr. I. Ranjan, CZM in charge CO, CCD, UNE, Mr. Atish Chandra Sarkar, CZM Quality, Mr. M. K. Mahanti, CZM Electrical, Mr. Kaushik Kumar Sengupta, CZM Computer and Infotech, Mr. Birendra Kullu, CGM Personnel and Admin, and other several senior officers, employees of HSM2 and associated departments, as well as the representatives of trade union and executive association. While addressing the gathering, Mr. Suryavansi stressed upon the following effective maintenance practices for maintaining quality of the drinking water in Rorkela steel plant. He also congratulated all the associated agencies involved in establishing the ultra filtration unit. During the fu function, ED Works fe felicitated Mr. Russell Soaring, OCT HSM2, for suggesting the name Trupti. Notably, the ultra filtration drinking water unit has an installed capacity to purify 1000 liters of water per hour and has a storage cap capacity of 5000 liters of purified water. The facility will cater to the quality drinking water requirement, requirement of employees, contract workers, vendors, suppliers and other agencies working at HSM2. The water is purified following five stage purification process. The ultra filtration unit provides water with the desired norms by consuming less power and wasting very less water. The system was installed by the HSM2 department in collaboration with civil engineering services, water management and shops departments. At the outset, Mr. R. K. Muduli, CZM HSM2, welcomed the gathering. The program was coordinated by Mr. Anup Agarwal, Manager HSM2, and Mr. Sanjeev Kumar Behera, Manager Personnel, with the help of Mr. Manoj Kumar Patra, Assistant Manager Personnel. Around 150 employees and contract workers from Safety Engineering Department, Fire Services, Design and Shops, took part in the human chain formed to create road safety awareness in Sail Rorkela Steel Plant. The campaign was led by Ms. Asha S. Kata, GM in charge Safety Engineering Department and Mr. Abakash Behera, GM Safety. The campaign re uh, revolved around two major issues of road safety rule violation that are no overtaking and no red light violation. The human chain was formed from Fire Service Training Center to ED Works Office Quadrangle. The participants carried placards depicting messages to the aforementioned issues. One-to-one -one counseling was also conducted during which commuters were informed about the newly installed red light violation detection system near ED Works building and the penalty associated with it. The system is equipped with automatic number plate recognition camera and would capture the image of red signal violated vehicle registration numbers and process it to identify the violators for imposition and deduction of fine from their accounts. The second major trust was on overtaking behavior and attitude of the drivers and two-wheeler riders. A blood donation camp was organized by Nursing Training Institute of ISPA General Hospital to mark the National Student Nurse Day and World Red Cross Day on 8 May, Dr. B. K. Hota, EDMNHS, 
presided over the function. Present on the occasion were other senior doctors, nurses, staff and students of NTI. Dr. Mukti Minj, Deputy CMO MNHS, fa uh, facilitated the blood donation activity. Ms. Biddut Prabhagot, Principal NTI, coordinated the event. Notably, 11 units of blood collected was deposited in the blood bank. It is worth mentioning that the NTI has been conducting series of activities to mark the National Nurse Week observed from 6th to 12th May. Here we come to the end of today's news bulletin. Namaskar.